we're always on the lookout for faster, easier, more efficient ways to monitor our Linux systems. And with that being said, NetData checks all the boxes. With the one line kickstart script, you can be up and running with NetData in about two and a half to three minutes. And it works on just about every Linux distribution. Today I'll be installing NetData on my Open Media Vault NAS for a much more detailed, in-depth visual of the overall system. This is my 2U Norco chassis with eight hot swap drive bays, each tray holding a four terabyte NAS drive. I did go ahead and install Scrutiny through Docker to check out the hard drive status. I did also check them out using a different software before putting them into the chassis itself. But I thought it would be cool to show you guys Scrutiny so you can see this for yourself and install it via Docker and check out the smart statistics of your hard drives in your systems. And I literally just put this in the rack. It's not even bolted in yet. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and install NetData before I even bolt it in. And it really is this easy here on getting started with NetData. I'm going to scroll down and copy this kickstart bash command. Now you're gonna open your favorite command line tool. Mine is SolarWinds, Solar Putty. And we're going to right click to paste that bash command in here, just like so, and hit enter. It tells me I don't have curl installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and apt install curl. To get this done, I'll say yes to that because I do wanna install curl. It's the only way I'm going to actually be able to successfully use this bash script. And then we'll go ahead and run the bash script again and get NetData installed. Okay, so after about two and a half minutes, NetData finished installing, and we can see this address here where we can view NetData. It says this machine IP on port 19999, that's four nines. So let's figure out what the IP is of this machine. IP ADDR, and we are on 186. So I will grab that, which is my IP of this server. I'll copy that and we will open it up in a browser and append that port to it. So here we are, this is the system overview of NetData. This is what it looks like fresh out of the bag or after a fresh install, I'll say, just to be more clear. At the top, we can see our standard CPU, net inbound and outbound, our used RAM percentage here on the right side and our disk read and write. But there is much more that you can see and view with NetData. The average user is going to be using a system like this to monitor the things that you see at the top of the page here, the CPU, how much memory they're using, what their net throughput might be. What you see at the top here is a glance of the system overview, and you can further dissect that by clicking on each individual section and really, really diving deeper into the metrics of the system here. But for me, there is one thing that's missing from here, and that is a sensor that will allow me to monitor the temperatures of my CPU. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install that really quick. It's really easy, it's just one command. So let's do that right now. Here I am on the home lab documentation for this project. And if you scroll down to the bottom, it says installing LM sensors. Now LM sensors is a free open source software tool for Linux that provides tools and drivers for monitoring temperatures, voltage, humidity, even fans. And in some cases, it can actually detect chassis intrusions. So for me, I'm just going to keep it basic. I'm going to install this just to view temperatures of the CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this command. And now I'm jumping back over to my terminal where NetData is installed. I will right click to paste that command in here. We'll say yes to it and we will get that sensor and software installed. Let's clear this out. Now for these changes to take effect, we will go ahead and stop NetData, systemctl stop NetData. Then we will do a start NetData. Now let's go ahead and go back over to our dashboard and check it out. Back on the dashboard, after a refresh, you can see a sensors section here. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. For me, being able to monitor CPU temperatures, different core temperatures is a very vital and important thing to be able to do when you're monitoring a system. That's gonna be the only thing that we actually install further into NetData, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some other things just to save on time. And just above the sensor section, you can see scrutiny. Now this is actually the Docker container being monitored. You can see Portainer agent here as well. So let's take a look at scrutiny. We can click on this. We can see the CPU usage of this container, the memory, disk, and even the net throughput. So this is quite interesting, all of the detailed information that you can see here with NetData. 
I want to say NetData is a stepping stone for a more advanced style of monitoring a Linux system. I think this is a great opportunity to bridge into my next project, which is using NetData to pull metrics and queries to put them into a beautiful dashboard. Take a look at this. This is Grafana displaying metrics and queries that have been pulled from NetData via Prometheus. Now I want to keep it simple. I'm going to show you guys how I did this. And we're going to take queries and we're going to hand pick queries only that we want to see and put them into a beautiful Grafana dashboard just like this. So with that being said, make sure you have NetData installed because you're going to want that installed. That way when I do release the next video, you can follow along and we can pick up right where we left off. And that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, maybe you learned something from it drop a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I'd like to have you back for more videos. Also click the bell icon so you know when videos are released on the channel. Also don't forget all the documentation is on the homelab.wiki so you can scroll through here and check out this very simple installation for NetData. That's going to be it for today. Bye for now.